when you want to understand what PHP is it's a good uh, thing to have a look at JavaScript if you know JavaScript um, because there are lots of things they have in common and a few differences so let's have a look at what the main differences are between JavaScript and PHP PHP lives in the browser uh, the PHP we know um, which we can use for animation um, and other stuff and uh, PHP lives uh, on the server because PHP is a server scripting language they they are similar in uh, syntax but they do different things JavaScript uh, lives in the browser where the user interacts with the browser do something in the browser whereas PHP lives on the server and you have to request something on the server in order to to use PHP so what do they have in common they are both scripting languages so they use scripting blocks or script blocks um, when you for example in your PHP file want to add some PHP you have to make a PHP script block the same thing if you make inline scripting in uh, HTML you have to have a script block or if you want to include a JavaScript file you need to have this script tag and then specify the source of the JavaScript file but they are similar in the way they handle the code because the code goes into this script block let's have a look at some variables they are quite the same but a little bit different um, in JavaScript we use uh, the word bar in front of the variable to indicate that this is a variable uh, and we use the equal sign to specify the value the same thing we do in PHP except that all variables has a dollar sign in front when we want to output something in the browser or in HTML we uh, do it like this in PHP and uh, like this in JavaScript in PHP we use the word echo or the command echo we can also use the command print but the most common widespread use of displaying things from PHP is the use of echo in JavaScript we can uh, document write something that means we at the place we are in the, in uh, the HTML code we can write out something so they are similar in that sense that you can mix HTML and and PHP or JavaScript um, so you can make some variables and then output them on the page if you want to mix strings and variables uh, there's a little bit of difference between JavaScript and PHP in JavaScript we use uh, the plus sign to uh, to concatenate or to mix for example the string h1 tag with the name variable and then h1 in tag in PHP we use a dot instead so they are similar in that sense that we have to have a string and then the variable and then a string again and we use dot instead of plus but in PHP we can make it a little bit more compact we can if we use double quotes we can mix the, um, the variable inside the string if you do it with single quotes it will only print out the string dollar name it will not print out the value of the variable dollar name so when you use it this compact way of of outputting variables you have to use double quotes outside uh, your strings if you want to make uh, or do some check or validation with uh, conditions you have to uh, to do it in a similar way um, actually they are quite the same um, as you can see here 
we have the the declaration of a variable called my number with the dollar sign in PHP and the var in, uh, in JavaScript, and then the uh, the syntax for making a a condition, the if statement, is the same. We ask if this variable equals, uh, for example, forty two, and we use the double equal to to test it, and we use as you can see when we assign value to the variable we use the single equal sign if you use a triple equal sign you will check if the variable and the condition has the same data type that means if you try to to compare a variable which has the the integer value of 42 and you try to compare it with the string of 42 you will get false because a string and an integer is not the same but you can just use double equal sign as I do here to check if a, a variable has a, a particular value when you want to make loops it's quite the same uh, the, the only difference is the way we declare variables and how we use variables and in this case in PHP we have the dollar sign in front of it and comments is also the same so you can specify comments or write comments with uh, a double slash for one line and slash star for begin a block of comments and then the star or asterisk and the slash to end the comment block so it's it's the same we have the for loop whereas we in the first section we have the the initial value and then we have the condition that we have to to meet um, before the uh, the for loop ends and then we have the increment how much it uh, will it be uh, plus plus or minus minus uh, for the variable that means do we add something or subtract something from the variable so a for loop is the same but uh, when you want to to print out or display the values of an array it's quite different what we can do it, it it's actually easier in PHP than in JavaScript the, wo the way we declare our, our arrays in um, in PHP can be done in in different ways but uh, this um, this way I showed here is the most common way to do it that we use the array and the parentheses and inside we will just specify uh, which items do we want to have in the array as in JavaScript we have this variable countries and we just specify in the square brackets our items in our list we want to retrieve them from an array in, in PHP we can use the for each which is different from JavaScript where we have to use uh, a regular for loop where we every time we, we want to uh, to make a loop or an iteration we have to check if the length that means the the number of items in in the array has been met but in PHP we can just um, make a new variable called country like we do in uh, in JavaScript but in the for each loop will make it automatically so we don't have we don't need a counter to check which position we will be at they do the same they will write out to the document um, the countries just for one lo one line for each so they they do the same but they you, you can do it more uh, effective or with fewer lines of code in uh, in PHP the debugging thing in uh, in PHP will most of the time be where you use the print underscore R function if you try to echo out an array you will just get the the string array because echo is only for strings and if it has a 
uh, if you try to output uh, a variable which has a, a different data type, uh, for example, array, then it will only print array. If you want to have the content of the array, you have to use a print underscore r command or function. Um, but when you use the print underscore r, you will have your array printed out uh, where you are at the HTML page. That means if you, for example, use the print r inside a div, the countries in this in this case will be showed inside this div. Um, what we usually do in in JavaScript is that we write out something uh, in the console for you know for the uh, the fire firebox or uh, the developer tools in uh, in Chrome or whatever maybe. And it looks like this when we look at the uh, the browser that in the, in the up where in the in the top of the the image we have what PHP will print out if we ask to have this array printed out or displayed, and in the uh, the console JavaScript will print out or display the the content of the array. So it's kind of different. It's not possible to have your PHP displayed in the console in the, your debugging tool. You have to echo it out or print it out in uh, in the browser. That means in your in your HTML code. If you want to add something to uh, to an array, you have to use different uh, ways of doing it because in PHP it's quite easy to just add something. You just specify it with, for example, in this in this example we have the variable countries and then two square brackets. That means a left side square bracket and a right side square bracket. It looks like a, a square, but it's not. And then equals what do you want to add to the list. In JavaScript, we have this case where we have our array and then if you want to add something, we, um, we use the push method on, uh, on the array. Um, so it's a different approach. You have to be aware of that. When we want to make something in a function and we do that, that a lot, then it's the same. It's the same way of building a function. We use the word, the keyword function, and then we have the name of the function and then two parentheses. And if you want to to add something as a parameter, which we'll show in a minute, you do it the same way as in JavaScript. So when you want to execute a, a function, you just write the function name in two parentheses. And when we want to pass a parameter, we do it like this, like it's quite the same as in JavaScript. We, we had this variable name in our parentheses, in our function. Um, in, in PHP, of course, we need to have a dollar sign in front of it to indicate that this is a variable. In JavaScript, we don't need the dollar sign, and that's actually only the difference. So we can pass a parameter and then have, have a calculation returned and then write it out with an echo, or in JavaScript with a document write. So what's the difference between JavaScript and the PHP. PHP, for example, can do something more than JavaScript cannot do. It can receive some some form data and then do something with them. For example, in this case, we have a, a contact form where we can write a name and then uh, send it, and then send it to a, a, a different PHP page and then output the name. Typical if you want to to receive something uh, in a form, you will send it to another page. You can send it to yourself, but the most simplest way is to send it to a new page, a new new PHP file, and then do something with what has been sent. And I'll just explain quick the code behind it. Here we can see that we type in a name, 
and send it and then output hello and then the name. If you want to do it in code, uh, we need to have a form, which is uh, the form tag we use in, uh, in HTML. And in the form tag, we specify where to send it, which page or which file shall receive this form. And we specify in the input fields where what to send and it's it's important that we specify a name for the, the input field so it's possible to retrieve it in the other file it's kind of making a connection between these two files and we also need to have a trigger or something that the user can click on so it's so the form will be sent and then we need a page or a file to receive this form and as we can see here again just type in the name and then click on it and then we have this um, hello and then the name that has been sent so it's it's important to to be aware of that and I will come back to that in, a, in, a, in another video but when you want to post something if you want to send something we use the the method post and therefore we use also this super global called dollar underscore post this is a PHP super global and inside the, the square brackets we can specify which field or which input field we want to retrieve and then check the value of this input field and then put it into a variable called dollar full name and then we can use the echo uh, and then output hello comma and then the value of the uh, the input field because now we have put it into a variable so it's easier for us to output it other things we can do is uh, we can save data in a database and we will not work with that um, right now but just to show you the bigger picture of what PHP can do if we have a contact form or something else we can send the data to the server which will contact the database server and the database server will give a response to the server if it was successful this this uh, this update or save on the, on the database and then uh, then the server will give a response to the uh, the user that it was successful or it was not successful or whatever it may be so there are many similarities between javascript and php the main difference is that javascript lives in the browser and php lives on the server so that's all for now uh, about javascript and php